let's roll what we find on the in the third hollow. Six roll on the old Herman vermin table. Okay, here is the vermin table. Three d six sneezing sporlings. Three d six sneezing sporlings is fifteen. <gasps> oh, fifteen! Oh, great! But at least they are level two fungi folk vermin. And we are in a room so everybody can uh, join the fight. And they have some specialty. No morale, no treasure. Place a poison token for each wound suffered by a party member at the end of fight. Okay, so we have to collect uh, how many poison, how many wound uh, our characters will have. Hopefully no wounds will have. Okay, let's roll for the first attack. Pole five. Okay, okay, okay. Five. Uh, oh, they are lots. So <laughs> minus one for the knife, meaning uh, four. And they are level two. So now uh, they are only 13. <laughs> they still are 13. Okay, uh, let's see Bob with the magic sword. Four, plus one for the magic sword, plus two for the level is four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's all, but seven means three sporlings, so now they are just ten. Okay, Lenina with her mace. Two. Plus half of the level is one is three, plus one with the mace is four, meaning oh, meaning another two sporling. Okay, they are down, so eight. We are almost half, but they have no more else, so nothing happens when they are under their half. And uh, a fireball would be really useful, but I don't want to uh, make fire. So Crystal will use the dagger. 4 minus 1 with the dagger is uh, 3, meaning it is enough for one other sporling. Okay, they are 7, and we have to defend uh, 7 times. Okay, uh, Crystal will get 1 attack, and the others will get 2 attacks. Okay, let's roll for Paul's 2 defense. 3 and 5, both are enough to defend himself. Let's roll for Bob's two defense. Three and three, enough. Let's roll for Lenina. Four and two. Two is enough if we have something plus and oh yeah, she has a leather armor. Okay. And one defense roll for Crystal. Four, it's enough. Okay. Now second turn uh, for our attacks. Yeah, everybody is with Millie, so just go in the same order. Paul rolls five. Mm, minus one for the knife is four, meaning two sporlings down. They are just five, okay. Bob with his magic sword. Five plus one is six, plus two is eight. It's enough for four sporlings. And now there is one lonely sporling on the battlefield. Let's see Lenina's attack roll. Six. Oh, we are exploding. <laughs> yes. Ten and plus and plus. So uh, the sporlings are off and they uh, don't have any treasures. So that was the fight. No XP roll, no treasures. And uh, I have to roll. Yes, room number three. I have to roll infection level three. We have the four characters. Let's roll. 6526, six. the third character, Lenina. Uh, couldn't save. Okay, now Lenina has two ticks. Now let's roll what's in corridor three. I mean, branch three. Six. Vermin table. Okay, a vermin again. Three. Three D6 living acorns. Level 3 vegetable vermin, moral minus 1, no treasure, and immune to poison and sleep. Okay, 3d6. 
11 living acorns. Let's see the fight. This is a corridor. Okay, Paul's first roll versus a living acorn. Oh, one, one roll, sorry. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so uh, it is uh, attack one. So the corridor, narrow corridor rule is just for defense. Sure, yeah, it's just for defense. Okay, so Paul didn't hit the acorn, but Bob can roll for using a sling. Five, great. And as a warrior, he can add his level to all his attack rolls, meaning uh, five plus two is seven, mm, minus one for the sling. Oh, and uh, now Bob uses the sling because when uh, I imagine that when they enter to a branch, then Bob instantly switches to the sling because that's his only chance. And when they enter to a room, he uses the sword and shield combo. So Bob uh, rolled six. Now we have nine living acorns. Now Paul's first defense roll, and it cannot be a one. It is a four. Great versus the level three acorn. We are done. Um, next attack from Paul. No, okay. Uh, Paul couldn't hit the acorn again. Bob maybe with his sling. Yes, <laughs> four plus two minus one is uh, five which is enough for uh, hitting one acorn. Okay, now they are eight, and uh, Paul has to defend again. Okay, now it's defense roll one, so let's check how this uh, rule is. If someone in a narrow corridor, in a branch, uh, rolls, on, rolls one on a defense roll, then they have to roll again for level 3 agility save, and Paul has a plus 1. Okay, let's roll it. 4, great. So, uh, Paul uh, didn't manage to defend himself, and uh, it was a huge hit, but with his great agility, he could stand uh, still stable on the branch. And in the meantime, he has only three health points because of the one hit. Okay, we can attack again. Paul, let's do it. Three. Great. Uh, not so great because uh, minus one for the knife is only two. And uh, that's all, which is not enough to kill an acorn. Okay, Bob, please. <laughs> it looks like the sling is very effective. Six. Wow. 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, minus 1 for the sling is 9, meaning 3 acorns. Okay, now they are just 5. And Paul have to defend again. Paul defended, great, and Paul can attack now. <laughs> Paul cannot attack this time again. Bob with the sling... 3 plus 2 minus 1 is 4 and I think yes we forgot to roll for uh, their morale but we will do it in a moment because Bob managed to hit one living acorn and they are still under their health so we can roll for morale and they have morale with minus 1. It's still 4 so they are uh, staying with us and continue the fight. Okay, now um, we have to defend a pole. Let's defend. Five, okay, it's enough. And pole can attack. Maybe he can attack. Two, uh, minus one for the knife. It's far, far away from a hit. Bob with the sling. Two, plus two for his level. There he is. 2 plus 2 for his level, minus 1 for the sling. It's 3, so one other, another acorn is out of the game. And uh, now Paul has to defend again. 2, 2, plus 1 for uh, 
the level is 3 plus 1 for the leather armor is 4. Okay, it's enough. And now Paul can try attack. Yay, finally! 4 minus 1 for the knife is 3. So he managed to heal the first acorn in this fight with his knife. And now there are only two, so Bob maybe can finish it. Oh no. Okay, the sling is not working this time. Okay, a defense roll for pole. Four, great. Uh, he defended successfully. An attack roll for pole. Five, yes. Five uh, minus one, four, okay. Then we have just one living acorn left. Okay, and Bob maybe with the sling? Yes. Okay, we are done with this fight. Great. Do they have treasures? No treasure. Hm. Okay, that was corridor number three. And it was a corridor, so we don't have to roll for infection. And now we can move to room number four. Mm, we are almost halfway to our goal. Let's see what's in room number four. Then, if room, roll on the old Herman minions table. D6. Six. Two D6 fungi folk militia. Okay, now here are our fungi folk friends or enemies. Seven of them. Okay, and they are... Ooh, what a long description. They are level three minions and they have normal treasure or normal morale. Okay, what else? When a group of six or more is encountered in a room, yes, this is the situation, there is a three in six chance that they have a leader. Let's roll for it. One, two, three, they have a leader. Four, five, six, they are alone. Two, okay, they have a leader. If so, roll d6 to determine the leader. One, meaning fungi folk champion, a level four minion, always fight to death. In yours, the first point of damage it receives. Okay, but it is a minion. It doesn't have life points. We can uh, kill this champion with one successful hit. After dispatching any group of fungi folk with or without a leader, roll for normal treasure on the old Herman treasure table. Okay, so no moral, but they will have a treasure. So... We are in a room, everybody can participate in the fight. And uh, the champion, Bob, of course, Bob will fight with his plus one sword against the champion and the others against the fungi fox. So let's roll for uh, Bob versus the champion, the first attack. Six, wow, okay. Uh, six plus three is nine, plus two is 11, plus one is 12, so... <laughs> It was a huge, huge overhit versus the level 4 champion. So it means that after hitting the champion, we still have uh, 12 minus 4, 8 points of hit. So I imagine Bob uh, killing the champion and then turning around and hit two more funky folks. Okay, now the champion and two other funky folks are off. Now uh, Bob was great, Lenina with her mace. Let's fight. Four plus uh, half of the level, so it's five plus the mace is six, which is enough for two fungi. And they are just three below their half. Let's roll for their moral. One. Okay. It means they are so afraid of us. Uh, they leave the fight and run away, and uh, we can roll for their treasure. Three. Choose. You find either one scroll with a random spell or one dose of sleeping spores. Ah, yeah, we already had this. Okay, uh, I still go with the scroll, and we have to go back to the 4AD core book to check the spell table. Five. It is an escape scroll. An escape scroll, 
Oh, four crystal, of course. Okay. And now we can move out to the branches again to corridor four. Let's roll for the content. Oh, no, 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 no. First of all, we are leaving a room, so we have to roll for infection. It is a level four infection. Okay, Paul, Bob, Lenina and Crystal. Okay, Bob and Crystal couldn't do it. So now Crystal has two Sportix. And uh, Bob has uh, his first one. Okay, and now we can roll for the fourth branch content. Let's go back to the lantern, to the content table. Here it is. And roll for the fourth branch. It's number four. Roll on the old Herman special events table. Okay, the first special event. Special event on a corridor. I mean on a branch. Six, barrels and suspicious chest. You may search through the barrels, as in five above, you may search through a number of barrels stashed here, and aha, uh -huh, and we can roll for the result of the search. Okay. And in number six, attempt to lockpick a sturdy chest. Cannot be broken by force. Choose a single hero to open the chest if a rogue, of course we have a rogue, succeed versus level 4 lock to safely open the chest. Adds plus level to roll. On a failure, the rogue abandons the task due to its difficulty. Nothing gets triggered. Okay. If not a rogue, that's not the case. Let's search the barrels. 5, and we can see it in result 5. So, uh, 4, 5 says, weapons... Choose any light and one-handed melee weapon for all heroes. Wow! So we found four weapons. We all have weapons, but uh, it's good versus the invisible gremlins if we have more. And uh, we can sell it. So now everybody has plus one weapon. And let's look at that sturdy chest. And Paul will try to open it. Disarming traps and opening this chest with plus one as uh, he is still level one. <laughs> okay, the previous adventure wasn't Lenina's adventure. Now it seems that Paul uh, has this curse that uh, he is constantly rolling once. Okay, no problem because he was a rogue. He tried it. Nothing happened. We couldn't manage to uh, open this chest. And that's all. We can move on. Okay, it was a corridor, so we can move to room number five. Let's roll for room number five's content.